Hey guys, welcome to Manifesting Better. I'm back with another video and another topic that needs to be addressed. I also have an Instagram account. The link for that is in the description box below. Coaching is also available. The link for that too is in the description box below. Your triggers are lying to you. Hey guys, hope you're well. And in this video, I want to talk about the topic on why your triggers are lying to you. Now, uh, this is going to be a slightly deeper video. And I'm going to be talking about a few things which are going to be slightly on the on an extensive side of things. But I will try to make it as simple as possible so that all of us can understand how this works. Right. I want it to be as easy as ABC, as alphabetical order, things like that, so that we can understand this very easily, especially in the manifestation community. Triggers are very common. There are different kinds of triggers, which I will either cover here a little bit, depending on how much time this video will go into, or I will make a different video for that because that's a that's a bigger topic. But I will try to cover as much as possible in this video. And um, if you are someone who's getting triggered while manifesting or while you are on your self-development journey, you are not alone. All of us get triggered. I have gotten triggered more times than I can count. I get triggered still even after working on myself so much because I'm a human being and as a human being just like I have to sleep I have to use the washroom I have to brush my teeth I have to eat food and drink water I have to get triggered because that's a part of my life I think what has happened is that the reason that triggers have became a big stigma is because a lot of people actually uh, especially you know when we are talking about manifestation go into perfectionism where they expect that I wouldn't ever be triggered in my life or I would never get a negative thought in my life which sets you up for toxic positivity which sets you up for unrealistic expectations which set you sets you up for hurt right and then what happens is there is this word called should that I shouldn't get triggered and because of that you are triggered then you expect yourself to never get triggered and then you're triggered because of that so it becomes a whole cycle of hurt which we are wanting to avoid so let's let's get into the video so first thing is what are triggers when i'm talking about triggers what are triggers a trigger is anything that uh, either creates an emotional a physical a mental response in me which is not according to how i want it to be this is my definition people can have different definitions but a trigger basically is something which tells me that I will not get what I want or makes me feel a certain set of emotions or thoughts that I don't want to feel. You all have gotten triggered at some point. Uh, either it's when you're manifesting money and a bill comes or you haven't seen sales in, in your business for the past two days or the specific person that you want to manifest uh, is not responding or is you are in a no contact situation or you see someone else going through something painful and then you just get triggered because of it or you are in a situation where your mind is telling you that you have been cheated on in relationships in the past so why would you be cheated on now and that's what you're triggered about <clears throat> so triggers are very very normal and everyone has get gotten triggered next question why are we triggered in the first place like why do we get triggered in the first place we get triggered because that's your body trying to protect you a trigger is actually not a demon that is coming to you and possessing you. A trigger is there because your body wants to protect you. Your body has found out after a period of trial and error, after learning a lot about these things and after learning a lot about life, either through your experiences or other people's experiences, that there are some things which are not safe for you to receive. I will get into this in the next point. When your body seems and considers something as not safe for you to receive, it triggers you in a her in, in its own way to try to alert you so that you can be prepared if the danger comes so that you're not blindsided so that the next time you get triggered you is so the next time this threat comes to you you are prepared and you can handle it better than what you did the last time that's the reason that we get triggered it's your body's way to try to protect you now let's understand what exactly happens when we are actually triggered. This is where I will talk about slightly sciencey things. So we will we will get into this uh, a little bit in detail and understand what happen, happens when we get triggered. So there is a part of our body. I will not go into too much. Like I, as I mentioned, I will try to make it as easy to understand as possible. Um, there is a part of our body which we call the autonomic nervous system. This is in control of a lot of our organs and responses and feelings and hormones and things like that. This usually contains of three parts. The first is called a sympathetic nervous system. 
the second is called a parasympathetic nervous system and the third is called the enteric nervous system the enteric nervous system is not something we will talk about because it's it's a separate topic and it's more about the sciency part which we are not concerned about in this topic now when we get triggered we have two modes that we switch on to think of it like a for like a light bulb switch it's either on or off right the parasympathetic nervous system is basically the off button this is where your body does not actually have any threats when your body does not actually have any threats it considers itself to be safe when it considers itself to be safe what happens is you consistently are working in a thriving mode you're thriving your body thinks i have abundance of everything so it is basically focusing on your skin your hair your sleep your health and your stomach issues and things like that that's when you are majorly at and that's what you majorly want to stay at then there is a thing called a sympathetic nervous system mode which is your body's fight or flight or fawn or freeze response now this is where things get interesting a fight or flight response is necessary for us to be alive i will give you a few examples as we move forward but what happens is a lot of times when we get triggered our body's fight or flight response gets activated when our fight or flight flight response gets activated our body thinks that i am in threat when i will consider that i am in threat i will consistently try to protect myself right and then at that time what will happen is i am instead of thriving i am surviving because i'm surviving my body is only cared about survival which means um, my sleep will suffer my health will suffer my stomach will suffer my uh, skin will suffer my hair will suffer you must have seen this pattern with yourself too when you are triggered about something when you are you know going through a breakup or you are nervous about something or you have a lot of stress your body actually gets into a position where you will see that you're not able to sleep properly you get breakouts of pimples you um, get health issues you are more susceptible to uh, getting the cold the flu things like that it's because a part of you is in that situation getting uh, triggered because your body is actually in a fight or flight mode so it does not think that your hair is the priority when you can actually die right now there are perceived threats and there are real threats right and um, the perceived threats is a very big topic which is what i will make a different video on but perceived threats can be through environment perceived threats can be through something someone says where something happens you either see something you hear about something or it can be an actual threat now i will give you an example an actual threat in this situation think about you are walking down the road and a dog keeps running to you if you are a sane person unlike me who will stop to pet the dog what you will do when you see the dog is trying to bite you you will run away at that time a trigger is amazing your fight or flight saved you if you were eating something you will drop it to the ground and run away because you think that this thing will hurt me right so this dog will hurt me it it might bite me so you are running away at that time what your body is doing it's quickly uh, switching from the parasympathetic to the sympathetic nervous mode nervous system mode and it is making you run because at that time that's what is needed for your survival and that's fine now what happens is that's a real trigger a lot of times and this is where major uh, like all of us are at is that we get into a trigger which actually does not exist so think about i'm sitting at home and i'm eating my dinner and suddenly i imagine a dog coming towards me now when people say you cannot distinguish between your imagination and your reality it goes here too because a lot of times we cannot distinguish if our thought is actually imagination or reality hence i can get triggered just by that if i get triggered by that and i stop eating food and i start running that's me being in a position where i'm just making something which actually does not exist a trigger in my mind that's how your mind works now what happens is our cortisol level increases our breathing becomes shallow our heart rate increases that's where we get triggered this is what happens when you're working out if you will see while you're working out people say to warm up it's because you want to simply switch into the sympathetic nervous system mode so that you can easily deal with the workouts and your power increases that's what is happening so when you are getting triggered you can get triggered from anything let's say you were cheated on uh, in the past from a guy named mark right and you see someone's uh, your friend dating a guy named mark you get triggered that oh what if this guy cheats on her because this brings out memories and you are consistently triggered that's where your anxiety comes from that's where these things come from a lot of times these triggers are lying to you because in that moment there does not actually exist a real threat 
and you are just trying to save yourself from something that does not exist where we actually get into a position of hurting ourselves even before something bad has happened and hence eventually end up manifesting something bad for us in the first place but how to get out of triggers so i will explain these things uh, like simply again in the next video that i will make this i will be explaining this topic too but there are three things that i have used and these are the basic ones there are of course extensive things but that depends on your situation that you can use to deal with triggers but the first one is breathing exercises because when you are in a triggered mode your breathing is the one that is changing so breathing exercises will absolutely help you especially in that moment to get out of a trigger there are many different kinds of breathing exercises that you can use to get out of triggers uh, but the one that will help you instantly is the physiological side it's by andrew huberman you can search it on youtube you will find it then uh, you can do some grounding exercises now grounding exercises differ from person to person these are things that help you feel safe now they can be any experience from people to pe person to person they are different for me how my grounding exercise works is whenever i feel extra triggered i make myself a cup of coffee or tea based on what time of day it is i uh, play some music there is this diffuser where i put some oils in it which i put on and then i sit and i calmly breathe i put my feet on the ground and i feel the you know the floor i feel my body i feel the air on my body that's a very good grounding exercise for me many people have grounding exercises like walking right things like that i also take a hot shower that helps me uh another is meditation now meditation is not going to instantly help you but as a whole it helps you as a whole it's just like um if i want to you know feel better instantly i might take a medicine for my stomach but as a whole if i want to decrease my stomach issues i will have to eat right so that eating right part is what meditation is this is how you deal with triggers and of course a deeper video on this is coming soon and i would like to know what are your triggers and how do you deal with them so that i can include that in my next video so i will see you guys there hope you have an amazing day and hope you have a have a good time dealing with these triggers click the like button if you like the video subscribe and turn the notifications on for more such content comment down your video suggestions and i will see you guys in the next one